often is seen as a symbol of that. Um, and I say, I mean, it's assumed to be to mean patriarchy and male control, and it does mean that in some situations. But I think in Western countries where women have the choice to wear it or not wear it, then its meaning really does change. It varies very much with whether someone is a newly immigrant and where they come from and what it meant in their in the original country. Most of the people that I looked down at were young women who were born in, in the West and who grew up Muslim and who uh, therefore they were as much Western as they were Muslim. And for them the veil can have all kinds of meanings, meaning, meanings of affirmation of self-identity, of pride in their Muslim heritage, particularly in an era when uh, uh, there's a lot of Islamophobia. For some people it's even a way of rejecting um, sexism. They see it as a way of criticizing Western dress, you know, particularly Western dress that's very highly sexualizes women's bodies. So in a way it has a feminist message to that extent. I think we fear a particular kind of Islam. We assume that wearing hijab must mean commitment to a very fundamentalist kind of Islam. And I haven't found that this, this correlation exists. But you know, I mean, I, I just written, as you know, I've just written a book on the entire subject. And my, my own starting point was, as a woman born in Cairo in 1940, where I grew up among women who never wore hijab, and they, some of them were very pious, very devout Muslims, uh, I, I was astounded and shocked and frankly appalled. I assumed that the hijab which when I saw this now happening in Europe and America, I thought this must be fundamentalist Islam and it's bad for women and it's patriarchy and all of that. And actually my research showed me that these were prejudices on my part. I had been deeply westernized and my perceptions. And you know, I could, for me the hijab does, it carried that meaning. I know I've heard from some women that they've taken off hijab because they couldn't, they, they didn't want to experience discrimination. So it's an individual decision. I think, um, it, I mean, it's, it's very complex because one of the facts about the West is it, it, its foundation is that it respects minorities. So if we're not going to respect minorities, then what, then why are we claiming that we, you know, we stand by these values? So that's the complicated issue. And, and, the, and the fact is, you know, women who wear hijab are obviously a minority. Certainly in America and maybe in Europe, they are only a minority of Muslims who wear it. Most Muslims don't wear it. So, so again, so for us to make laws forcing people to accept our way of dress, and after all, it's only a way of dress, you know, we don't go tell people to stop wearing jeans or stop wearing this. So it shouldn't become such an issue.